Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today I'm going to be sorting out Octoprint on my Raspberry Pi. Uh, Octoprint allows you to print anything through your internet connection and basically it goes through your internet connection to your 3D printer rather than having to slice it you know, on your computer and then move it from SD card to printer. And there's lots of other advantages, like you're able to view the printer as it's going. There are things like um, AIs now that can watch your 3D print and pause it before your 3D print fails. It will notice things failing, etc. you know. And rather than wasting loads of stuff, it will help you out there kind of thing. Um, but basically, I'm just gonna um, install the bog standard version because I've only got a, um, a Raspberry Pi 2B, I believe, and um, I'm just going to use what I've got lying around. I've got a webcam, but I also do have a, a Pi um, camera somewhere. So I'll use the Raspberry Pi camera if I can find it um, and various other things. But basically, I just want to set that up so that we can actually, you know, check out the um, the prints as they're going along and easily send them from my computer to the uh, to the 3D printer. I'm also going to talk to you about backwards powering and we're going to solve that problem. Some 3D printers um, will actually allow power to go through the from the Raspberry Pi to the 3D printer and we don't want that. That can cause all sorts of problems because it's, it's a bit of a power struggle then and it will stop things like your um, internet connection and various other things on the Raspberry Pi. And I'll teach you how to sort that out for virtually free in a couple of minutes. And then I will teach you how to set up Cura so that you can run it with Raspberry Pi um, with Octoprint and get that going and you know just making life a lot lot easier before i continue i would just like to thank david and simon my patreons they're really really su helping support the channel and because of them i may i was able to buy something during this video so i'd really appreciate it if you would just you know leave a thumbs up whatever and um and a thank you in the comments to the patrons that make this possible uh if you'd like to become a patron yourself pop down in the description and there'll be all the links that you need anyway let's get on okay so we are just using what i've got lying about and that is the raspberry pi 2b i have an old phone charger i have a uh, usb cable a wi-fi dongle 32 gig card and an old um webcam and we're gonna see if we can get a decent-ish version of Octopi set up on this. This has already got um, Octoprint on it, and I'll show you how I did that now. They've made Raspberry Pi OS's so much easier to install than they did back in the day. But you go to raspberrypi.com um, forward slash software, and scroll down to whichever one you need. I'm on Windows. It'll download the imager down here. Click next, then run. Now you choose the OS you want. There's loads of different types of things here. Um, eventually we're gonna do a media one and I'll show you how to do all that and so on. But what we need is other specific purpose OS, 3D printing and Octopi. Octopi stable, choose your storage device and it normally comes up with the one, you know, the storage device you've got. And then before you press right, what you're gonna to want to do is press control shift and x wait a couple of seconds and a little menu will come up here you want to enable ssh come down to password change your username to whatever password to whatever and then you come down to configure wireless lan this here is where you put in the wireless network name and then your wireless password click save now press right this will warn you that you're going to rub out all of the stuff on your SD card, but we're not worried about that. And you just press, press yes. Now it will write to the drive and then it will verify. And this will take a few minutes. So I'd go make yourself a quick coffee. It's only literally a, a, three minutes, four minutes. Okay, there you go. So that is now done. You can remove the SD card and back over to me. Okay, so our first step is to plug this in. Now we need to put the dongle in. And now we power up the Raspberry Pi. Okay, I've turned off the light. So when we plug it in, you'll be able to see the lights flashing. And as soon as that green one is off and flashing, we are ready to go and the next part we have to do on the computer. Okay, so you start by going to your computer and typing in octopi.local. This can take a couple of minutes. It's a lot slower with the Raspberry Pi 2B, obviously. But now basically all you do is you go through this setup wizard and it's fairly straightforward. And 
And there we have it. We are now connected to OctoPi, OctoPrint. Now, I've got an under voltage uh, detection here, which is, I, I knew it was going to happen because I've got a very poor power supply connected. I will go online and buy myself a proper power supply when I get the chance. Okay, so it's time now to connect up the printer and the webcam. So I had to stop doing this yesterday because of power supply issues. Whenever I had the webcam connected and it connected to the actual 3D printer, there were just power supply problems. That they wouldn't work, etc. and I kept having issues. So I've gone out and I've bought myself a genuine Raspberry Pi power supply. I would not have been able to do that without my patrons. David and Simon, you are awesome. Thank you so much for being awesome. This is because of them that we could continue this project, put it that way. So I want to see in the comments, thanks David and Simon. If you've appreciated this video, it's purely because of them. Let's get this set up now and let's see if this all works together. Okay, so the Raspberry Pi power supply is 2.5 amps at 5.1 volts and it's obviously a micro USB. Okay, so obviously it's powered up. I didn't assume it wouldn't. Next I'm going to plug it into the 3D printer and we'll see if that works. If this happens when you're plugging your Raspberry Pi into your Ender 3, then you've got a power issue. This will also stop your Wi-Fi dongle or whatever you're using from connecting to the internet and will cause all sorts of other problems. Let me show you how to fix it. The problem you've got is all data cables are power cables, but not all power cables are data cables. And what we need to do is make this just a data cable. What you'll need for this is something to strip a bit of the actual outside insulation. You're going to need some wire snippers and some insulating tape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end. I'm going to use my wire strippers on this end and I'm just going to give it a quick chop. And now that has shown multiple colored wires. Each one of these colored wires does something different. Let me show you. As you probably assumed, the red and the black are power and the green and white are data. We need to just cut the red and black. There you go, removed. I'm not going to cut the black this time. It's not needed. Now, all you need to do is wrap a little bit of insulation tape around this. And this is just for aesthetics. There's no issue with leaving this kind of wire un untethered. But if you don't know, don't do it. And there you go. We now have a cable that can be plugged directly into your 3D printer and there will be no back powering. Okay, and to test our newly fixed wire, plug it in. And plug it in. No backwards powering and no problems with anything to do with the Raspberry Pi or Octoprint. Next thing I want to do is set this up so I can run it with my Cura slicer. Okay, so let's see if we can make our lives a little bit easier today and make it so that we don't have to mess about with basically the usual. Normally what you'd have to do is you take your model, you'd slice it, you'd then save it to an SD card, you take it to the um, 3D printer and set it all up and print. Now that's not too difficult, it's not, you know, it's not going to break your back doing it unless you've got a very fragile back or you fall on the way. But anyway, I digress. Um, but there are bits and pieces set up for us to be able to do that ourselves without having to leave the comfort of our computer chairs. So up here is the marketplace for, um, for Cura and I didn't even know about this until very recently when I had to use a special uh, bit I was having issues with one of my um, 3D prints and basically whenever I'd add any support material it would um, add it to everything and it was there was it was only needed in one place so I just downloaded a little support um, bit where you could just click and it would add supports and it saved a huge amount of printing time and that was the first time I'd actually seen the marketplace what we're going to look for now is Octoprint connection click install and here's the plug-in license stuff. Obviously, I'm reading this as we talk. And I pressed accept after reading it all, obviously. Okay, so that's it. That's all you have to do. This hasn't worked properly, so what I need to do is I need to close um, Cura and open it again. Normally, it would actually reset Cura for you, um, reopen and close it, but it didn't that time. So let's have a look now. Um, manage printers. And here we go. Connect Octoprint. Okay, so this is already set up for us. I've had to do nothing at all. Um, so, so far, so good. All we need is our API key. So click on open browser. So this has opened us up to our Octopi login. And I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so once you've logged in, you come up to this little spanner, 
down to API on the left hand side and this is the number you need so click copy and then head back to Cura paste it in and connect that's it job done jobs are good so now once you start up um, Cura it should automatically connect if it doesn't sometimes it doesn't sometimes it's a bit funny you come down you go to manage printers connect to octoprint and it's connected I think hang on there you go it's connected now and it means now you can put what you like send it straight to the printer but also if it works there you go you can see through the webcam of the actual um, Oct Octopi and so on this is an awful webcam and I will be putting a new one on in a minute okay so we've put a new webcam and it's in a different place now and we're going to print out something for my nephew he loves Ronaldo and this is a lithopane of Ronaldo um, so I'm just going to slice it and then once it's sliced it will give you the option of printing with Octoprint so let's have a look nearly there there we go click that and this dialog box will pop up here and uh, there we go this is now just saying all the stuff and that is ready so basically we just wait now and it will print out for us so that's that done as easy as that and um, I did make a device for holding this all together within the box where I keep the 3d printer but I will show you a video on making that at another time well there you go I hope that helped you it was fairly straightforward there were a few incidences of issues but I hope that I was able to help you through that um, and with the back powering I hope that I was able to help you sort that out for free because there are devices on the internet and all they do is you plug your USB into it and it stops the power and you know it's easy enough done with one little snip but I hope that really did help overall and if you've got any questions leave them in the comments section if you'd like to become a patron obviously pop that uh, pop down into the description and I got all the information there I might be doing a video on setting up Octo remote on an Android phone but that might just end up being a short video rather than an actual video but I'm not sure but if enough people want it I will do that um, but yeah I hope this helped you guys and I will see you again next week bye for now